times I told you about the two weeks to three months is what we call a window period. Mm -hmm. okay. I moved to Tallahassee in 2007. At that point, I'd already had an AIDS diagnosis with a T-cell count of 57. Below 200 is considered an AIDS diagnosis. For the testing that we talked about just now. I was naive. I was younger. I was in love. I thought I was in love, and I just didn't think that it would happen to me. Um, generally, lab test results are back in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. It happened. In 1994, I was, um, I was diagnosed with AIDS and with HIV. Big Bang Cares is an, both an HIV prevention and education, as well as healthcare providing agency. Uh, we serve clients all over the Big Bend area, and basically not only providing services for people who are HIV, uh, who have HIV AIDS, but also support to their families and education to the community as well to prevent the spread of the, of the disease. There's about 2,000 people living with HIV in Tallahassee and the surrounding eight counties. We serve about 1,000 of those. So about 50% qualify for services with Big Bend Cares on a basis of income and um, location. Hi, this is Andrew with Big Bend Cares. How can I help you? They provide um, services for people who are infected with HIV. Lots of services, what we call wraparound services, services that aren't covered necessarily by private insurance or even public assistance, uh, things such as transportation to get them to appointments, um, housing assistance, um, helping them you know, pay the rent so they don't become homeless, um, medication assistance, uh, the, the cost of the meds, medications for uh, treating HIV are really expensive, and even nutrition assistance, so providing patients with um, nutritional supplements. It works in two parts. The first part is people who are just coming into care that are nervous, you just found out you're positive, you think it's a death sentence, it isn't. HIV infection is not a death sentence anymore. Um, and I think people out there need to be aware that a HIV um, is a chronic disease. Um, it, it's similar in some ways to high blood pressure or diabetes. Um, it's a disease that at this point we don't have a cure for, but with uh, proper medical care and proper medication, the disease can be controlled. Talking to somebody who's actually living with HIV uh, gives you a perspective that you may not otherwise get. So it, in the front end, you have peers who are support, both emotional, and then also how to navigate a very complicated medical system. And it works on the back end for somebody who's been in care for their HIV disease and maybe has not accessed services after 90 days of no contact with you, you will automatically get assigned a peer. To experience um, being a peer advocate is a great opportunity for one and it gives me the chance to interact with people that we all have this thing in common, which is something I've always wanted to do. I didn't know it would be AIDS, but I, I mean, you know, HIV, but it's rewarding. A peer advocate basically helps others become their own advocate, getting their needs met by going to the doctor, learning how to ask questions that they need answers to. It's a chance to give back. Um, Big Ben Cares gave to us when we needed it, and this is a way for us to give back to our peers and to the agency that helped us in the first place. So I think there's a lot of give and take on both sides. They provide a very valuable service for us, and they get some fulfillment for themselves. It really just takes a matter of discipline and being your own advocate to say no. I'm not going to give up. Learning to say life is worth living. I wouldn't be here today without Big Big Cares. 
On behalf of Big Bang Cares, the Executive Director, Rob Renzi, the Board of Directors, the staff, and the clientele that we serve, we thank the Florida Blue Foundation for this tremendous honor. We are extremely humbled by this recognition and we hope to use it to further services for our clients. We will continue to work hard to serve our community in regards to HIV, AIDS education, prevention, and services. And we thank you for this tremendous honor.